welcome back to Random Reads Plays The Sims 4 Asylum Challenge Episode 15. Had to think about that for a minute. Um, I am in, you can't really see it, but I'm wearing some R2-D2 get up because I am also doing a video in the kitchen where I'm cooking things. I'm sure that video will be up before this one. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. If it's not up for some reason, be sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I figured I had 40 minutes to wait for the recipe to do its recipe thing. So I figured while we were doing that, I would um, do some sim stuff, you know? So we left off um, doing another, uh, doing an adventure, and I think we're going to do another adventure. I think we're going to go try to talk to a tree. This is, um, I'm like, why is nobody moving? Is paused. Um, so yeah, the last episode we went and checked out the hidden grotto. And in this episode, I think we're going to go talk to a tree. But we'll see. I mean, there's no we'll see about it. We're probably going to go do that. Um, whoa. Whoa. Oh, no, you don't. Where's my, where's my do? My do? My do? Hey, do? Where are you? Go away. Shoot. Bye. Please leave. Um, let's do a check-in real quick. Chance is scared. Sam's at work. Valentina is just chowing down on some food made by Flip. Flip is making drinks. I don't know what she's doing. She's talking to the door. And he's out there talking to Gertie. All things are good. Some ominous music playing. Let's check our mood. Good. When do we have to go to work? Three days. We are good to go on a field trip. Um, Alright. So, again, breaking the rules. Don't care. I'm going to travel. <laughs> Alright, so for this one, we do have to travel to Willow Creek. Good God. Okay, so after 10 minutes of trying to find the flipping tree... <laughs> So you travel to Crick Cabana and you end up here. Don't do what I did and get all confused. It's literally right here. So it's going to put you here in this little spot and you're going to go right here. It's the only tree that you can highlight. <laughs> People were building houses here and it was confusing me because I was like, wait, that's not how it looks on, my, on this video. All right, so you're going to go view this tree. And obviously it looks much different than the other trees. And the other trees disappear when you zoom in on them. This one does not. So you're going to go view the tree. I don't know what you're watering, but go view the tree. There's 10 minutes to get here. Helps if you hit play. Today is not a good recording day, you guys. It's not good. It's not good. My house smells like onion and cabbage, but that's another thing. So you have to view this a bunch of times for a while, I guess. And then it'll eventually give you an option to do something. Aha! So then you keep viewing it until it comes up with the disgust nature. 
and then it opens up you see like there's a little space in here now so now you can explore Don't mind me, we're just, you know, walking in a tree, it's fine. So then they... Okay. <laughs> so then, once you get to this menu, you're going to want to follow the sound. This person's like, there was a person standing here. Don't know where she went. Just talking to trees and stuff. So then you're going to follow downstream. And then you are going to enter the mist. I wonder what happens when you click the other options, to be honest. I'll have to try that sometime. And then you want to travel to Glade. Yes. So I feel like it's probably going to be similar to the hidden grotto. It's very beautiful. So I, I don't know what we can do here. Um, so if you don't want any spoilers, I would stop and skip ahead to when we look like we're back at the house. <laughs> um... You're going to go on your phone. Uh, so you could fish. And then let's see. Um, looks like. I mean, looks like there's some plants. I don't. Oh, here we go. We can dig. Nope, that's mushroom. So it looks like this is just another cool fishing spot if you want to do that. I don't see anything else that you can really do. <gasps> Strawberry bush. Uncomfortable? Why? You're out in nature. To be fair, I don't like nature. So this is just another nice little area to go and hang out. I kind of wish that there was like a treasure like the other one was. That was really cool. But let's let's try some um, fishing. We've got a minnow, so we'll fish with a minnow and see what we catch. Apparently, you can catch pomegranate. Fishing is kind of boring, not going to lie. It's really pretty out here though. I would love to be out somewhere like this. But it is cool that they have... Um, these little worlds hidden. I wonder if there's any more. We'll have to find out. Caught a beta fish. Cool. Mount. Ooh. So 
So apparently with any fish or frogs that you catch, you can make the plasma bags. All right, it's enough fishing. Um, for the vampires, which is interesting. And if she keeps her vampire lore studies, she could potentially make the vampires not vampires anymore, which I find kind of interesting. All right, so we got some upgraded parts. That's interesting, I guess. Let's see what we dig out here. Found a time capsule, so there is stuff. Let's see what's in this time capsule. Open it up. A hopper. What's a hopper? Aw. Little toy. That's cool. All right, go home. Wait, what are you doing? Throw away? What are you throwing away? Where are you throwing it away? Just go home. I don't know if you can see that. I'm sorry. Go home. So that's cool. It's a cool little hidden world. I like the finding little hidden worlds and then there's little time capsules it's pretty neat all right so anybody die we all good take a shower inventory let's put our little Where'd he go? Where's a little hopper? Put him up here. Uh, right there. So, just another little fun thing that we found on our trip. Um, grab a serving. Did I make that? Or flip, rather? Boy, she goes out on her own for like a minute and she's like, oh, I'm not being social enough. And she gets all upset. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Sam can now read books. Isn't that exciting? Where is Sam? Of course. You're supposed to be home. Whatever. He's dying. Let him have his fun, right? So, what's what do we got to work on? We got to get our culinary, our job up to an eight. And that's about it, guys. <laughs> Why would you mount... So distracted there's so many things going on it's kind of ridiculous why i'm even trying to record today um uh, volume one let's sell some stuff So, yes. We got a bunch of fish and plasma bags. I swear. Where? She will buy a book, read it for a minute, and then it just disappears. Is it in someone else's inventory? Did somebody else grab it? 
at all the books you have, crazy girl. Who has it? You have it. Rude. I mean, I don't mind sharing, but put dang, oops, put the dang books back, you know? Okay. Flip has exhausted all the information available in this book. Okay. And the child's waking up. Ah, this video is all over the place and I am sorry. And I'm really close to the desk because I'm not sitting like I normally sit. <sighs> Tired guys. I'm trying to be productive. This is why I try to record in the mornings when there's less distractions or edit in the morning. Figured I had the time, might as well do it. I feel like, you know, um, one thing maybe that Flip could do for them is to help them, is to help them become humans again. That would be fun, right? Right? <laughs> Flip read that vampires can be out during the day as long as they have a ceiling over their head, which stops most powerful sun rays. Um, yes. Oh, no. That one's... Reverse the sunlight. Sim Flip has learned that... There is a drink that helps Sims resist the effects of vampire power. She can now craft a vampire resistance cocktail. Interesting. Doing all this work and I have these. Oh, okay, level 13. Nice. Um, she's learned everything from that book. So now we have to... Ultimate. It's a thousand dollars. Thanks for ordering. You must know everything about the vampires. This wasn't one of your aspirations, so why are you working on it? Because I can. Because I can, guys. Because I want to. Because I think it'll be fun. I don't know what the highest level of vampire lore there is, but she's learning it all. They're learning all about vampirism. She's reading the same the encyclopedia too. That's pretty cool. Uh, Flip read that Count Vladislas Strahd was the first sole survivor of the original settler settlers who discovered Forgotten Hollow. Interesting. Discovered draw of reconfiguration. Flip has learned that there is a drink that allows vampires to reset all their powers. Hey, Gertie. You're kind of like right on top of Flip. Can you 
Can you can you move? Can can you move? Um, you're not done. No, no. Oh. <laughs> Talk about our stinky house. Yeah. That's fair. Max skill, all right. So, can we make... So we need, oh wow, we need 10 plasma fruits? Can we order, replace? Oh yeah, that's probably why they couldn't use it. Um, vampire secrets. Uh, so we're gonna have to wait until we get some plasma fruits anyways to do that. Um, we have some garlic. How much garlic do we have? We have one. So we have some garlic and I know there's some harvest garlic. So once we get that, then we should be able to cure someone. Can I not? So in the comments, I want you to put who you think we should cure of vampirism. Should we cure Jamie? Mr. Jamie here? Or Liana the angry? Sure. So who should we turn back into a human? Because I think it'll be funny. So let me know. Well, Liana just went and grabbed that book to put us away for us because we were lazy and we just set it down in a random spot. Anybody can read it. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this random episode of Random Reads Plays The Sims 4 Asylum Challenge. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure that you click the thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Remember, let me know which one you want to be cured of vampirism. And um, I will see you on the next one. Have a random day. <laughs>